We're talking about whether you can expect any cash back if your house is foreclosed. I'm diving into a topic that's often shrouded in questions and concerns, foreclosure and its impact on homeowners. Especially we're talking about, do you get any money if your house is foreclosed? A seasoned realtor in New York, I've navigated these waters a few times and I'm here to share these important insights with you. You gotta picture this. You're chilling at home, maybe sipping your morning coffee, and out of nowhere, a foreclosure notice lands on your lap. Most homeowners I've helped in the past told me that their hearts were racing and a storm of questions hit them and they had no idea what the answers were. Will you have to say goodbye to your hard-earned investment? Will you be evicted in the middle of the night? Well, don't let the panic set in just yet. I'm here to walk you through every possible scenario, breaking down the complexities into something you can tackle, okay? So settle in and let's unpack some valuable information together. You know, foreclosure can feel like a dark cloud leaning overhead. But understanding the process, knowing your rights, and exploring your options can make a world of difference even if you're knee-deep in this situation or just curious. The insights we're about to explore are crucial. Foreclosure isn't just a legal process. It's a personal journey that impacts your financial health and your peace of mind. So let's start with understanding the foreclosure landscape in New York. We've got two main types here. We have the judicial foreclosure and the non-judicial foreclosure. Each type has its own pathway and implications, of course. Judicial foreclosures go through the courts and can sometimes offer a silver lining for homeowners. If your property gets sold this way, you might actually see some surplus funds after all the debts and expenses are cleared. On the flip side though, non-judicial foreclosures or power of sale foreclosure happen outside the court system and are often much quicker. But here's the kicker. If your property doesn't sell for enough to cover your debt, you might still be liable for the difference. It's a bit of a tight spot and every homeowner should be aware of this possibility. Foreclosure is like navigating through a maze with different exits and choosing the one that's best for you or your unique circumstances is difficult. The judicial foreclosures, while they do take longer, could lead to some unexpected financial recovery. However, the swiftiness of the non-judicial foreclosure comes with its own risks and uncertainties. It's all about the fine print and understanding where each path could lead you. As I explore further, keep in mind that the route your foreclosure takes can significantly impact your financial outcome and the risk of losing your home is very real. So let's get to the question you are patiently waiting for. Do you get any money if your house is foreclosed? It's kind of a mixed bag, honestly. If your home sells for more than your mortgage debt, say it fetches 500,000, but you owe 450. That extra 50,000 might come back to you, but it's not always a guarantee and several factors play into the outcome. However, in cases like a short sale, for example, where your home sells for less than the amount you owe, the chances of seeing any proceeds are like slim to none. It's a tough pill to swallow, but sometimes a short sale can be a strategic move to mitigate the impact of foreclosure. In the world of real estate, especially in foreclosure, there are no obsoletes. Each case can unfold in its own unique way. The possibility of reclaiming some of your investment exists, but it's intertwined with several variables like market conditions and the amount you owe. So as we go deeper, remember, knowledge is your best assets in navigating these scenarios. Let's talk legal and tax implications. Foreclosure and short sales are not just about the property at all. They're actually entangled in a web of legal and tax implications. If you do find yourself with a surplus funds from a foreclosure sale, be aware there could be tax liabilities. Remember, the era of easy debt forgiveness is long time behind us. This is where getting expert advice becomes crucial. Consulting with a real estate attorney or a knowledgeable tax advisor is vital in this situation. They can actually help you navigate the complex legal and tax ramifications 
and avoid surprises that might come in the future. It's all about making informed decisions and understanding the full scope of your financial responsibilities in these scenarios. Understanding the legal and tax implications of foreclosure is like putting together a puzzle. Each piece from potential tax liabilities to legal obligations needs to be carefully considered. This is where expert guidance is invaluable. Foreclosure impacts more than just your home. It affects your overall financial health, so arm yourself with the right information and support. A piece of advice for these facing foreclosure. If you're staring down the barrel of foreclosure, my number one piece of advice is to act promptly. There might be options like loan modification or refinancing that could be available to you to stop or even avoid the foreclosure in the first place. And that's where I come in as your realtor. I can help you understand your home's market value, explore all your options, and even strategize to save your home from foreclosure. It's about finding the best path forward in a challenging situation. Please remember that in the face of foreclosure, being proactive is key. Explore every available option, ask questions, and make informed decision. It's not just about selling your home, it's about finding the right solution that aligns with your personal and financial goals. Facing foreclosure is a stressful and emotional experience, but it's also a time when making informed strategic decisions is most crucial. From assessing the value of your property to exploring potential alternatives, every step you take should be calculated and well thought out. As a realtor, my role is to guide you through these choices, providing clarity and support when you actually need it most. Remember that facing foreclosure can lead to different outcomes depending on your unique circumstances. You're not alone and you should never be alone in this journey. There are professionals ready to guide you and help you explore all the available options. Foreclosure might seem overwhelming, but it's not the end of the road. Foreclosure should never feel like it's an inescapable trap. There are always avenues to explore, solutions to consider. I'm committed to supporting homeowners through these trying times, helping you navigate the complexities and find a way forward that works for you is the only thing that's important. Facing foreclosure is undoubtedly challenging, but it also opens up a range of possibilities and opportunities for a fresh start. With the right guidance and a clear understanding of your options, you can navigate this process and emerge in a stronger, more informed position. Remember, in real estate, as in life, challenges can often lead to new beginnings. Today, in this in-depth discussion about foreclosures, if you found this information helpful, please subscribe to the channel for more insights like this. And don't forget, there's a detailed video I'm working on on short sales coming up that you won't want to miss. It's going to be packed with valuable information, especially for those considering their options in tough times. So hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Your journey through real estate challenges doesn't have to be a solo mission. I'm here to guide you and support you every step of the way. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to sharing more valuable insights with you in the next video. Together, let's navigate the world of real estate with confidence and clarity.